what I appreciate the most about what Rupert Neve has done through the years is continue to change, continue to grow, and continue to keep up with the technology and with the, uh, you know, what's new and needed. You know, as we went digital, it, it, was, it was my prayer to have, okay, how can we keep what we used to have? You know, when I started seeing the old boards go in the mothballs, it was like, oh, but I wish I still had. And now we do. My name is Roy Taylor. I'm front of house for Patty Griffin, production manager, I guess, too, um, which I've been doing for 17 years with the girl and uh, loving it. Everything on stage is running through the R&Ps. Um, so it, for both monitors and house. And uh, so basically I'm getting the split from the um, Dante. Chain starts with a KSM-8, sure, microphone, down to the Shelford, through the R&P. The DIs are on her acoustic, three acoustic guitars, which are all different tunings, so they, they all require kind of different treatment, and, uh, and a mandolin. The whole idea of actually even using the Shelfords as well was that Patty is pretty particular about what she hears in her ear, in-ear monitor, and from the wedge, and she's an analog person. She loves old gear. And so the closer through the years that I've been able to give her that, the better. And, and this is the best that she's felt for that. She wants what I call butter. She wants, she wants it to be warm, and, 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 but at the same time hear her breath. So it's always kind of been a struggle to get both those things to work. Um, and then avoid feedback <laughs> in a live situation. Craig Ross, who produced and engineered uh, many of Patty's records, but specifically the most, this most recent one, um, used the Shelford channel for the vocal chain. So when I heard that, I was like, okay, why not take it on the road? I'm Damon Lang with Nomad Sound. I'm out on tour running monitors with Patty Griffin and her band. There's an essence of quality associated with it, for sure. There's a certain hi-fi element, and then you realize that so many records that you've enjoyed over the years have been recorded with Neve equipment. Uh, just the, the sound quality is phenomenal, the mic pre's, that kind of transformer uh, sound, especially on the Shelfords, just has such a nice, rich sound. And um, there's also a certain quality in the manufacturing where I feel pretty comfortable putting it in a road case and traveling around with it. I'm not too worried about whether or not it's gonna function when we take it out of the trailer. This in particular is really how seamlessly they were able to integrate the Dante networking with the Mic Pre. The conversion is excellent, the Mic Pre's of course are fantastic, but as much as anything, it's just getting everything on a network, Cat5 simplicity and having Dante to control everything. Also with the RMPs, there's the ability to have sort of, in essence, three outputs because you have of each eight channel unit, you have eight channels of output, of course, and then you have eight additional that are gain compensated, and then you have eight AES out. So say if you want to capture a multi-track, you can get a quality AES out if you don't feel like taking the Dante out. Thanks, Rupert. I mean, it's like I said, it's, a, it's, it's nice having the, the, the interface between what we've always loved about analog and, you know, the control and the portability of digital.